cold start with a stock exhaust on a 23 C8 Corvette. So here's the problem. Once the car has warmed up, it gets really quiet. It's got a great cold start, but after that, it just does not produce enough sound. And here we are, Corvette World. A little bit early. Let's see if they can get me in. So Chance is about to pull the car around, but check it out. Look at, what the? Okay, it's just dirt. Woo! That scared me to death. I didn't know what that was. I still don't know what it is, but it's coming off, so it looks like somebody might have. I don't know. No, nope, something dripped down onto it. So look how filthy it is. I'm about to call Steve, tell him he might want to hold off coming in. Because it is filthy out on that road. Alright, so just so you'll know, you can actually fit everything in the back of your car. So I put everything from that box in the back of the trunk to get it out here to Corvette World and it fit nice and snug. I even, the only thing I left in the front, I had the tips. They come in a separate box, which you can't see because it's in the passenger's floorboard, but the tips come separately. So they were in a box. So I just threw them in the floorboard because I didn't have room, but I could have put them in the front. But check it out. You can fit it all right here in the trunk. So Keith's getting ready to take the rear fascia off. One thing that he said is really helpful is to remove the back wheels. He says we'll give access to the areas that we need to access. It just makes everything much more efficient. So that is a pro tip from Keith. And you guys know Keith's the only person we, have, we trust here at Corvette World. Not that we don't trust anybody else, but we know him, we trust him. <laughs> Everybody's trustworthy, but we have a special appreciation for Keith, so we just only let him do our work. This right here is exactly why it is so much easier and more efficient. He did do Steve's car because Steve forgot his lock, so he had to do it the old school way, but look how much easier it is to do this with the wheel gone. Absolutely. Just to show you guys, this is how much easier it is because there are bolts all up inside here there's a handful of bolts anyway up inside here that have to be removed and normally you'll have the the wheel well cover right here blocking all that so with the tire in the way you're just gonna have a lot harder of a time so when Keith says it's much more efficient to do it this way listen to him because it is that is a huge huge help right there all right guys so talking about the efficiency with the wheel being gone this is what we were having to work around well Keith was having to work around the last time with the wheel in the way, imagine trying to move this back and reach up underneath here to get access to the screws, because let's look at this side. See, so with the wheel gone, we were able to pull everything out and look at that. You have great access to everything that you need to reach to be able to get in. I mean, here's your exhaust right here and everything. I mean, this is such a huge help. We'll definitely make your job a lot easier. So we got all the screws out of the bottom of the rear fascia here. And we are bringing this car all the way to the ground. He's like, don't fear, we're gonna go all the way to the ground, but the car will not be on the ground. I'm like, man, I trust Keith. I have no concerns, none whatsoever. But the next step, I'm pretty sure, is to start removing some screws inside here. But we're gonna find out if I'm as smart as I think I am. Yes, I was correct. Look at me. I actually knew something. <laughs> so we're going to pull all those, these screws out around here so that we can basically release everything from the bottom. But he says, I always like to start at the bottom and then start taking them loose from the, the top. Absolutely. That way things don't fall. That way, once you remove everything from the bottom, the top of the bumper doesn't come loose and fall. To the ground? <laughs> yeah, we definitely don't need additional scratches and see how he puts it on his foot to make sure it never touches the ground. A little bit more stuff to break loose down in here. So what is that, the brake lights and stuff? This is uh, brake lights, yeah, yeah. brake lights. Uh, 
Yeah, backup sensors. Oh, and backup sensors, gotcha. So yeah. brake lights and backup sensors. Camera. Oh yeah, the camera. Which is very important for guys who drive like me. <laughs> Pick it up. I'm gonna throw it over here on the horse. Ooh, check that. It is so much bigger than you expect than I expected. I'm gonna grab the, the back side. I don't want to go too far back because okay. I don't want the wing. Oh gotcha. So check it out, man. It's so funny, but it doesn't look that big when it's when it's on the car. But when you pull it out and you see all the black that's inside here, it actually looks pretty big. All right, so everything we need removed from the inside's been removed. Keith's about to lift it up, and then we're gonna start working from the bottom. All right, guys, so this is the factory exhaust right here. And I gotta tell you, I was such and am still such a huge fan of these black tips. I think GM knocked it out of the park with these. What do you guys think? Now, of course, I'll have black tips again. They will be rounded though. So they will be a little bit different, but I do love these. And uh, actually I'm selling these to a gentleman uh, here in the DFW area. So that way they're gonna go to a good home. So I'll tell you what, if, if you've got one of these to help, my goodness, that makes all the difference in the world. Looks like he's had this in a couple of years too. What do you think this thing weighs, Keith? Uh, it's like 88 pounds. 88 pounds, so yeah, not light. So I got Steve here working. He's always working on your car. I know. Well, actually, I will say you do a lot of work on the C8. C7, I did a lot more. Yeah, and I think everything that I did, and look, it was either Keith that did all the work on my C7, or it was Steve, one or the other. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got the mufflers and everything is on. We're getting ready to put the rear face on, but before we do, we've got some heat shields that are black that are gonna cover right here from Paragon so that when you see this through the bottom of the rear face shade that you will not see the shiny chrome, it'll actually be black. So we're getting ready to install that now. So we're gonna go ahead and rub it down with rubbing alcohol like normal. You said rub it down. <laughs> I had to give it a rub down. So as usual, we got Steve here doing the work. <laughs> when somebody's OCD like Steve, you just let them. They make a major difference. Man, they make a big difference. And 39 versus $100 other places. Wow. So these are 39 at Paragon? Yeah, Paragon, 39 bucks. Wow. Oh, 100 bucks. So if you want a good deal, make sure you check out Paragon for these because they are much cheaper. Finally putting the rear fascia back on. So you call it a rear fascia or rear valance? Fascia. Okay. The lower one is the valance. Okay, so the lower one's the valance and this is the rear fascia. Yep. Just like on a house. It's your fascia, your soffit. Yep. So right now Keith's plugging back in the cameras, the rear lights getting all that plugged in and then we're gonna hoist this thing back up and we'll be close to almost close to done so we got steve over here just measuring the tip <laughs> yeah he wants to make sure he wants to see whose is bigger longer oh it sticks out farther yours do he Mine's says his about, is longer. Yeah, it is longer. <laughs> yeah, it's about a, it's a little ways. That's not a competition, guys. <laughs> he <laughs> says it's not a competition. <laughs> yeah, mine is, my tips are literally there. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I guess. <laughs> yeah. That's okay, that's how it was intended. <laughs> so Steve actually has different tips. His, uh, his are actually welded on as mine are um, bolted on. So they have made a few changes and he was just trying to see if his stick out further than mine because he's looking to maybe switch. 
But he says about an inch, bench, an inch further out. It's literally an inch. It's an inch. An inch matters. An inch matters. That's right. That's what I hear. <laughs> exactly. Just right. <laughs> That'll be that'll be on our extras. <laughs> She'll show you the love yeah. if you do it just right. Just right. That's gonna be on the bonus reel. <laughs> so, so I noticed over here you were doing a lot to make sure that the tips were perfect. Yes. First, I uh, well, first off, I make sure our, our emblems are uniform, straight up and down yeah. with each other, and then I tighten them up, and then I come in. And I finger it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No other way to say it. Make sure that it's the same at yep. all openings. The finger test. Yep. So. And then I even saw you go back and stand out there. Yes. Yeah, so step back. I, I, I walk, walk out, out here. here. And I look at it from the back to make yep. sure that it looks right coming out of the back of the book. That's huge. Because, I mean, that's the kind of OCD stuff. Ah, OCD stuff Steve does. Man, that is a really hard thing to say. OCD stuff Steve does. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. So, but so far looking if fantastic. It's, cheap, it's not worth it. That's right. If it's worth it, it's not. It's not cheap, hundred percent. So, a finally, a, a final touch. Go in and paint the insides black. Okay, you now the reason I want you to see this. Man, that, so you see this one, and then look at all that shine in that one. Huge difference. That looks so much better. Check it out. Keith always has the good ideas. So. Yeah, huge difference. So the amazing Keith is finally done on this. He would have been done a long time ago if we wouldn't have been here talking to him, asking questions, pretending to help. All that good stuff. Making comments. Making comments, exactly. <laughs> All right, let's hear what it sounds like. Plus, Steve's here. Steve's going to enjoy it. He's so glad. He's probably more excited than me. It's louder. It's louder, man. So the biggest thing that I like is that just now sitting here in idle, it is quite a bit louder than it normally is when it's in Prius mode and it is not in Z mode either, by the way. So it sounds even better when it's in Z mode. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I had a blast. Always have a great time with everyone at Corvette World. Always hanging out with Steve. Uh, as you guys probably could tell, we had a good time. And I am super, super pumped. Thank you to AWE for coming out with a phenomenal exhaust system. There will be a link below if you would like to order that. Anyway, again, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing. Hope everyone has a great week. Thanks for watching.